Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today is NPC Fridays and we are going to show you how to use 16 levels on the NPC Studio software. So let's begin. Now as you can see on pad A1 at the bottom I have a sound loaded. So I'm going to show you how the sound sounds now. Alright, it's just a regular synth sound, but let's say I want to play around with it and have different options for what I'm doing. I can go to my MPC Studio or my MPC Renaissance or Touch and hit the 16 level button. Now, notice it clicked for the pad, the last pad that I selected, which was A1 that has that sound on it. And then the next option says velocity for type. Alright. What that basically means is 16 level is going to map the velocity to the 16 pads and you can play them at different volumes. So pad A1 would be the lowest volume, pad 16 would be the highest volume on 16 levels. So let me show you that now. Now notice you can't hear pad A1 at all. You can probably barely, barely hear it through your speakers. But watch what happens when I keep going up. Now notice the sound kept getting louder as you went up in velocity. So let's say you want to do a different type of 16 level. There are other options that you can actually use. Instead of doing velocity, you can actually do it by tune as well, which is very popular. So what 16 levels does there is it maps it on the 16 pads by semitones. So now you can go up in pitch as well or go down depending on where you set your pad. So to demonstrate. Now notice the difference in tone. Now there are a lot of other things you can do with 16 level as well. As you saw when I was flipping through, you can use tune, you can use filter, you can use layer, you can use decay, and you can use attack. So pretty much there are a lot of different things you can do with 16 levels. It's just something really cool to play around with, especially if you have multiple samples loaded. Not to mention, if you need to separate things by semitones, it's another option that you can use instead of having to refer to a key group and change programs. So one last little thing to show you, say if you're going back to 16 levels and we're going to go back to tune. All right. One thing we can do to kind of change how the tune is being mapped or how the semitones are being mapped. Notice that it automatically goes to pad four right here. We can change that. So let's say instead of pad four, we move everything to pad eight. Now we somewhat get an equal distribution of our lower tones and our higher tones at the same time. So this is what the pad normally sounds like, but now I have more options if I'm going down in semitones. But I also have the same amount of options if I'm going up in tone as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 16 levels. Once again, it's Drum Machine Addicts. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please contact us via our Gmail, drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. We'll see you next week for NPC Fridays. Tune in for Machine Mondays and Ableton Wednesdays as well. Peace.